Good afternoon. Um, I have like a major headache right now. I don't know why. I literally woke up feeling so sick. Um, it's probably something that my husband and I ate last night. Um, I don't know how he's feeling right now, but I woke up feeling super bad and I'm still not feeling so well. It's only one o'clock in the afternoon and I woke up at like 10. Uh, and I'm about to also clean my room even though I feel like Mommy. total doo-doo and I Mommy. don't feel like doing anything at all. Yeah, I don't feel like doing anything, but um, as you guys saw in my previous video, I got some new sheets for my bed and my husband doesn't want to put them on the bed yet like until we clean the room and move the room around even though i really like the way it's positioned like my bed is right here beside my door and then there's our closet and the baby's dresser and then his bed is over here so we have like a lot of space um and yeah as you can see my room is a slight bit messy um a little bit less messy than it usually is but yeah it's still messy and I really kind of don't want to move the room around, but, oh, sorry guys, <laughs> but I am going to move it around and clean it up just for the sake of putting our new sheets on our bed and so that this room can look nice. And also, we need to get some new pillows because these pillows, these pillows right here, like, well, the actual pillow, this is just the pillowcase, but the actual pillows, they are super like squished now and stuff and also i think we got those from a store where they sell cheap stuff so our pillows were like probably a dollar or two i want to get one of those big nice not so expensive pillows but you know some of those nice big pillows that don't really um fluff down so easily so yeah um i don't think i'm gonna do a cleaning montage because no <laughs> so i'll see you guys later oh and tomorrow we're gonna go to my mother-in-law's house and my friend crystal is coming with us so you guys will see her tomorrow bye all right so i just finished cleaning everything um it's 2 33 right now and i don't remember what time i started but it probably took me about an hour or 30 minutes so if you didn't see my room, like if you kind of missed it when I showed it to you earlier, you can go back and see it again. But now I am at my doorway. And if you guys remember, my bed was at the doorway and my baby's bed was on the other side of the room and the dresser and whatever. Okay, so now this is the door. And then my baby's bed is right here where the bathroom is at, right there. You know, the door's over there. And then my bed is right here with the new sheets. It looks so amazing. I love it. And I love that little pillow that it came with. It's so cute. And then over here beside the window or in front of the window is my baby's dresser. And yeah. So as you guys can see, my room is super clean now. The only thing I have is that mater truck and I don't know where the heck I'm gonna put that I'm probably gonna put it in the living room since we have like a whole bunch of space in the living room I'm so tired as you can see my face is red and I'm exhausted and I still have a headache my dad just came a few seconds ago and dropped off some food for me so I'm about to go eat that and then I'm probably going to chill just for a little bit longer, maybe watch, finish watching my show. And then I'm going to take a shower because I do not want to lay on those brand new clean sheets without taking a shower. And that's exactly what I'm going to tell my husband when he gets home is he needs to take a shower before he even sits or even touches the blankets. Because when he comes home from work, all he smells like is Mexican food. And let me tell y'all, smelling that every single day, you get tired of it <laughs> and it kind of stinks. So yeah, but yeah, this is my new room. I hope my husband likes it because it's probably actually a little more, a little bit more spacious than last time. So yeah, I'm super tired. <sighs> 
Hey loves, I just got out of the shower and today I did wash my hair. Um, it was wash your hair day. <laughs> no, just kidding. But yeah, um, so I was just looking back at my previous vlog and my friend Crystal and I totally forgot to tell you guys an experience that happened to us while we were at Walmart. So let me tell you real quick. When we were at Walmart, there was this gay guy who came up to us and he was so, um, like he was like freaking out and his opening statement was, I'm gay. And he was like freaking out saying that he wasn't really from around there. He had just moved um, someplace nearby and he was kind of lost and he was, that he had anxiety and he was, you know, um, asking us for $45 because supposedly his car had broke down a little ways from Walmart. Um, and he said that his mom wasn't going to be out till like late at night. And we were at Walmart around four, like three or four in the afternoon. So he was saying that his mom wasn't going to be able to get him till like late and he needed to get to work. And he said that he had called a cab or something or, you know, a ride or some something like that, but that he was $45 short, supposedly, right? And my friend and I, we were literally falling for his story until my friend had offered to get him an Uber. Uber. She was going to, like, pay for it, you know, and, like, completely his mood just changed. He was like going from like, oh my God, like I'm so scared. Like if you could please just help me with $45, like that would be great. I'm just so, I have anxiety to like, oh no, I wouldn't want you to do that. It's okay. I, I wouldn't want nobody to spend money on me like that. I just need $45 in cash. Okay. <laughs> so then after that, you know, we just told him that we couldn't help him out and he wanted to get a hug from us. So we hugged him. And then we know we just kept about going about our, our business. Can't speak today. And then um, one of the lady workers, um, she like caught up to us. And she was like, excuse me, was that young man just talking to you guys? And we were like, yeah. And she asked us um, what he was like doing to us, like what he was saying to us or what he was asking. And my friend, she said that he was asking us for money. And she was like, I so apologize for that. We have been looking for this guy for weeks and our security finally got him. So apparently he's been trying to juggle money out of people you know with his sympathetic story or is that how you say it whatever yeah for you to feel sorry for him and give him money so luckily we didn't because we were this close to doing it well my friend because i didn't have no money on me and yeah so it was crazy good morning y'all so i just finished my makeup i don't know if you guys can tell Hopefully I didn't put too much foundation on, but I used the um, the brushes that I just got that I showed you guys earlier, and the brush is not pink, ro like rosy anymore. It's brown. And unfortunately, my friend can't make it to my mother-in-law's house, so we're gonna go without her. And we'll see you guys there. We just stopped and got something to eat. Jado back there eating some chocolates, even though he's not supposed to. And y'all know I had to get my caramel macchiato. And now we are officially on our way to my mother-in-law's house. We just got to my mother-in-law's house. Um, yeah, we just gotta wait for her to get here. It's 12.30 right now and she gets home around 3, 3.30, maybe 4. Um, I forgot why we came, but yeah, we're here. And then my husband is actually going to drop me off at my mother's house tomorrow night instead of Friday night because she's leaving to my aunt's house Friday night and he gets out late on Fridays. So we probably wouldn't even be able to make it. So yeah, I will definitely see you guys tomorrow when I get to my mom's house, maybe. And then Friday's my sister's birthday. Hopefully she doesn't have to go to school. I hope not. I'm asking my mom if she can stay home with me. Even though she's annoying as hell, but, you know. And then, Saturday is the party. So, definitely see you guys at the party. <laughs> Can y'all hear the trees blowing in the wind? Ooh, Mama, it's today. 
It is so beautiful out here, but it is so windy. I mean, it's not cold wind. It's literally like, it's like summertime right now and the, the like nice breeze is blowing. <laughs> we just got home and my son wants me to put on the Chucky movie for him. So I'm about to put Chucky on. Even though he, even though he's scared of him, but I'm about to put it on for him. And oh my gosh, my password won't go in. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess this is good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I know that my hair looks a mess. I just woke up, and I woke up to a bottle of orange juice and some Waffle House breakfast from my father, Dad. You're the goat. He really is the goat right now, you guys. Um, so thank you, Dad. Even though I know he doesn't watch my channel, but thank you, Dad, for this breakfast. And I'm about to watch my show as always. You guys know the routine. But tonight, my husband's gonna come home for break. So I kind of have to get this mess up from the living room. I have to pick all that up and shower. So I won't have to shower at my mom's. And then we're gonna, um, I'm gonna drop him off at work. And then I don't know, if my friend answers me, I might go chill at her house because since it's closer to my husband's house, I'm gonna like pack all my stuff and put it in the car. So that way, if I do go to my friend's house, I just go from my friend's house to my um, husband's job, which is like five minutes away. And then we'll be on our way to my mom's house. So I'll be at my mom's house tonight. Tomorrow is my sister's 11th birthday, and then, yeah, Saturday is the party. So I'm going to try not to vlog so much because I'm running out of space. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, or maybe tomorrow. There was a slight change of plans, you guys. I am still taking my husband to work. We're on our way. Um, my husband's just checking some noise that we heard under the hood, but... After that, um, I'm not going to go to my mom's house and I don't know if I'm going to see my friend Crystal today because I messaged her if she wanted to hang out and she asked me if at my place and I said yeah and that was like two hours ago that I responded and she hasn't answered me so you know um, I don't know if I'm going to hang out with her but I will probably go see my other friend Rosemary who you guys have seen before as well I think but she doesn't really like being on camera so you won't see her much but you'll probably hear her voice so we'll see you guys over there all right so I went to my other friend's house and she wasn't home so I came to rainbow by myself so that when my husband brings me on Saturday I can have an idea of what kind of pants I want I kind of want like high-waisted pants to go with the crop top that I got that I showed you guys so yeah, um, the store pretty, it's kind of cheap and it has really nice clothes, so I'm gonna just look around. Okay, so this is just an outfit that I'm trying on just for fun. It's like a flowy, kind of like shorts and shirt type thing. It's a one piece, obviously, but it looks pretty cute. I love the way it looks. Okay, so this is the second outfit. The tank top, it's just kind of so that the whole outfit can be complete and this is the jeans the jeans look okay and it is kind of like a little high-waisted how I wanted it and that's what the backs look like I don't know I think I'm digging this one okay so I didn't have another shirt but I don't know how I feel about these they're stretchy and they're definitely high-waisted I don't know. I think I want jeans to go with the crop top that I have. I'm not sure. And this is the last one. And this is also kind of just to try on just for fun. Um, it's more for like the summertime. I don't know if I like it. Even if I were to get it. But it's pretty cute. I don't know if it's cute on me. I just got home. And I literally left as soon as I finished trying on those outfits. I really wasn't feeling any of them except for maybe the jeans. And the little, um, like, 
uh, little black suit with the shorts, like the overall ones looking thingies. Um, they were cute, but I think I might have needed like one size bigger or maybe two sizes bigger because it was a little tight and it actually i actually had to unbutton it from this from one of the sides and i didn't button it when i was recording just because of the fact that it was a little tight and um i also left a little early because my baby saw a toy there that he liked and that he wanted and i couldn't get it for him because obvious reasons and he kind of got upset at first I was you know telling him to calm down and surprisingly he did he understood me but then once we got out of the um, dressing room he started to go again with the toy and you know I literally did not have time to put up with that so it's sad that I can't go anywhere with my child and enjoy my day because he's gonna want everything that he sees and it's sad that I have to leave a store for that reason especially because if my dad was with me he would have been like oh Mija it's okay just let him get out buy it for him which you guys already know that I told you guys that I try to talk to my dad and I try to tell him not to do that well I don't try to tell him I tell him not to do that and I try to talk to him but it's just so difficult to talk to that man and the baby right now he's still little but he understands so if my dad were to help us out and tell him no maybe he wouldn't be so spoiled you know like yeah I admit it sometimes we do things like we get him things and stuff whenever he asks us for it but not all the time and my dad does just for the fact that he doesn't want to hear him cry and that really upsets me because I don't want my kid growing up being super spoiled but my dad will never understand that because he still spoils my sister he still well both of my sisters and I guess he kind of still spoils me you know but he still spoils both of my sisters but just the, the fact that my dad still spoils us and he's starting to spoil my kid is not okay but he doesn't understand that um i will probably look back to see if this video is long enough if it is um this will probably be the end of this video so if you guys liked it please give it a big thumbs up be sure to share and subscribe don't forget to hit your notifications button so you can see more videos like this one Maybe not like this one. This one was probably kind of boring, but <laughs> so you can see more videos. Won't miss my videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. They look at me, took me, shook me, feeling me, singing from heartache, from the pain, taking my message from the veins, speaking my lesson from the brain, seeing the beauty through the.